Friend, how are you? Welcome to Joey's Tech. And in this video of Joey's Tech, we are going to look into the problem of counting possible number of ways to construct buildings. We are going to solve it using dynamic programming. How do we do it using dynamic programming? That is what is important to understand in this problem. So I want you to stay tuned till the end of this video. Watch this video till the end because this is one of the problems which is often asked in the technical interviews. Let's go for the problem statement right away. You are given a number of sections. Okay, I'm going to tell you what a section is. Now, each section has got two plots, one on each side of the road. All right. All you need to find is all possible ways to construct buildings in this section. Okay. Now there is a condition which is going to spice up this problem. Let's see the condition. The condition says that there should always be space between any two buildings you construct. In the next slide, I'm going to show you the graphical representation of this problem. But understanding the problem statement is also the key to solving this problem. That is why let's reiterate. So you are given a number of sections. Each section has got two plots, one on each side of the road. So there is a road in the middle, you can imagine. And on either side of the road, you can construct the buildings. Now, all you need to find out is how many possible ways are there to construct the buildings. Condition is there should always be a space between any two buildings. Okay, let's move to the graphical representation. All right. This is the graphical representation of a section. Okay, so the number of sections is one here. And you can see this is the road which is in green and you can construct buildings. Okay, this is probably probably a hut that I have constructed. I'm sorry for that. I didn't know how to construct buildings using shapes. So this is the way you can construct buildings on either side of the road. Now, let me tell you that the condition says that there has to be a space between any two buildings. So you can see there is a space between these two buildings. Okay. Now one more possibility is that I can remove this hut and there will be space. So that will also uh, that will also satisfy my condition. I can uh, uh, remove this building and there will be space. So this will also satisfy my condition. So in this way, we have to proceed. So let's say if the number of sections is three, what is the total number of ways to construct buildings? We are going to start when the number of sections is one and that is the lowest sub problem. And we are going to start <coughs> from the basics so that you understand this problem from its foundation. Let's do it. And if you are new to my channel, then hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon next to it because that way you will get notified whenever I release new videos like this in future and you do not miss out on any of the learnings. Let's switch to the framework now. So you can see that this is another pictorial representation when the number of sections is one. This is the road and these two are the plots. Let's find out the number of ways by which we can construct the buildings when n equals to 1. So this is the first way when I have buildings on both the sides. There is a space between the two buildings that we need to keep in mind. So I'm going to write it here that this is my first way. All right. So I'm going to put B over there and B over here. Now, what can happen that I can remove this building and there can be a space over here. So this is also one of the ways, even though I do not have a building over here, but I can construct one building and I can keep this plot open. All right. That is also one of the ways. So I'm going to record it over here. So the second way is going to be B and S. Now third way can be, I can put a building over here and I can keep space over here. I can keep this plot unconstructed. Over here, I am going to record this way too. Now, one more way that is coming into my mind is that I do not construct any building at all. And there are only spaces on each side of the road. So this is also one of the ways. So I keep 
this way here i record this way here now as you can see there are four ways by which you can construct buildings when the number of sections is one okay so i'm going to write it down over here that the answer is four so we have determined the possible number of ways to construct the buildings when the number of sections is one we have to determine that for n equals to three and we are trying to figure out we are trying to discover an algorithm using dynamic programming so for this we'll have to find out what is the number of ways to construct buildings when the number of sections is two that is we'll have to move to the next step so let's move to the next step i am going to put n equals to 2 over here and now this is going to be my road and these two are going to be my plots so as you can see this will represent my section number 1 and this will represent my section number 2 okay now let's start determining the ways by which we can construct the buildings okay so i can have a building over here but i can't have a building over here because there has to be a space between two buildings so it will be a space i can have a building over here and i can't have a building over here in this cell because there won't be any space between these two buildings all right so this has to be a space now i am going to note it down so it is going to be bs and on the other side it's going to be bs okay now let's change the scenario let's look for the second way so i can switch places over here so it can be bs and sb so you can see that there is a space between these two buildings that means it satisfies my condition so let's note it down fine now let's go for the third way so what can be the third way I can put S over here. So it gives me BS and SS. Cool. Now I can put B over here and I can remove this B so I get this as another way. So this is going to be SS and SP. Also, I can remove this B and see that this is also one of the ways so it's going to be ss and ss all four spaces means no building constructed in the two sections cool now i can have a building constructed over here so i'm going to note it down here sb and ss i can have sb over here as well so this is going to be another of my ways sp and sp cool i can have ss and bs okay let's note it down ss and bs okay that means building over here and spaces over here you can see there is no other building so no question of spaces between two buildings all right and then we can have sp and bs which we haven't picked till yet sp and bs all right so i'm going to put sp and bs so i have got nine ways to construct the buildings when the number of sections is two now i am trying to notice something here of all these nine ways one thing which i notice is that there are three unique patterns on either side of the road let's point them out see this they these are the three unique patterns i am talking about bs ss and sp and i am also noticing that each of these unique patterns is mapped to the to these three unique patterns only on the other side of the road so what i'm trying to say that bs is mapped to ss which is over here bs is mapped to sb 
which is over here and BS is mapped itself to BS over here okay similarly SS is mapped to BS so where we have done this over here then SS is mapped to SP which is over here only and then SS is mapped to SS itself so one thing which I can deduce from here is that if I find out the unique number of ways on one side of the road then the number of ways is going to be the square of the number of unique ways which I discover for one side of the road so the number of unique ways here is 3 and the total number of ways is coming as 9 so square of 3 is 9 that's what I'm talking about now let's see if our deduction is correct by applying the same theory here when the number of sections is 1 now the unique patterns on one side of the road are B and S all right B and S and as you can see so B is mapped to B and B is mapped to S similarly S is mapped to B and S is mapped to S so the number of unique patterns here is 2 number of ways is 4 so the square of 2 is 4 so we have got our first key over here that means we need to find the number of unique ways on one side of the road and the total number of possible ways to construct the buildings is going to be the square of that number so let's focus on finding these unique patterns that means the number of unique ways on one side of the road which is 3 when n is equal to 2 that means the number of sections is 2 and over here where the number of sections is 1 it is 2 which is p and s now what I notice over here is that two of these ways are ending with a space and in one of those ways we have a building before the space and in the other way we have a space before the space all right and uh, the third way which is ending with a building has a space before the building which satisfies my condition because this is what condition says that there has to be a space between two buildings all right so how can we use this information over here that means the unique patterns that we have found out when n equals to 1 to derive this number 3 what i see that if i add space to this way i'll get bs and if i add a space to this s to this unique pattern when n is equal to 1 i'm going to get ss so i can say that count of space when the section is 2 can be is equal to count of space when the number of sections is 1 plus count of buildings when the number of sections is 1 all right so this is going to give me what so count of space when the number of sections is 1 is just 1 okay so I'm going to write 1 over here and count of building when the number of section is 1 it's going to be 1 okay so this is going to give me 2 and this is the count of ways ending with a space when the number of sections is 2 as you can see we have 2 over here similarly if I add a building after this s I am going to get sp so based on this I can write count of building when the number of sections is 2 or I would say count of ways which are ending with a building when the number of sections is 2 this is count of ways ending with space when the number of sections is 2 so over here I can simply write is going to be equal to count of number of ways ending with a space when the number of sections is 1 and that is 1 so 2 added to this one is going to give me 3 
and this is the way to get to number three that means the number of unique patterns when the number of sections is incremented by one so over here the number of section is one we increment it by one n equals to two and this is the formula we are going to use so we are going to first find the count of number of ways ending with a space and then count of number of ways ending with a building and then we are going to sum them up all right so let's sum them up over here so i can say count of unique ways when the number of sections is two is going to be count of number of ways ending with space all right plus count of number of space ending with a building and this is going to give me what this is two and this is one so it is going to give me three all right now we are going to do this exercise for the number of sections as three okay let's do that okay so as per this algorithm count of ways ending with space when the number of sections is three is going to be count of number of ways ending with a space when a number of sections is two plus count of number of ways ending with a building when the number of sections is two okay so what is the count here it is two okay so i'm going to place two over here and what is count b two it is one so this is going to give me three over here now there is another component to our problem which is going to be count of number of ways ending with a building when the number of sections is three which is going to be count of number of ways ending with a space when the number of sections is two so that number is two so what is going to be the count of number of unique ways on one side of the road when the number of sections is three it is going to be three plus two and that is going to give me five so the total number of possible ways to construct the building is going to be the square of this number like we discussed before so number of unique ways so the number of unique ways to construct the buildings when n is equal to three when the number of sections is three is going to be five square and it's going to be 25 so this is our answer so there are 25 possible ways to construct buildings when the number of section is three and this is the way to determine it using dynamic programming so if you feel that this is too much information for you to grasp then i want you to watch this video again i am sure that in the next watch you are going to surely understand this problem this problem is very easy only thing you need to do is watch and practice this problem on your own now let's look at its algorithm so this is the algorithm you can see that the count of number of ways ending with a space when the number of sections is n is going to be count of the number of ways ending with a building for n minus 1 plus count of the number of ways ending with a space for n minus 1 count of the number of ways ending with a building when the number of sections is n is going to be the count of number of ways ending with a space for n minus 1 sections and then we are going to add these two counts to find the number of ways number of unique ways for one side of the road and then possible ways to construct the buildings is going to be the square of number of unique ways for one side of the road which is the variable ways underscore one underscore side over here if you've got any doubts related to this problem you are welcome to put down them in the comment section i promise i'll answer them with this we have come to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video i hope you learned from this video do give it a thumbs up i look so much forward to help you with algorithms and programming and only for this video goodbye